way into our final segment it is going to be looking at this week's games we're just going to take a look at uh, a couple games a couple games we figure are uh, going to be the uh, biggest ones of this week so uh without further ado uh we'll uh let me uh write down this you want to go ahead and uh All start right. us off for the first game, uh, we have Miami and Clemson here. All right, uh, we got the U and the Tigers. Um, uh, this is this is a coin flip to me. Uh, anyone got a coin on them? Can't say I do. Be well, <laughs> too late. I got the U and an upset, an upset victory for the Miami Hurricanes. I think they exploit Clemson and I think they steal one this week and they will move up to number one in my power rankings if they do so I'll go ahead and tell you that right now as uh, a man that I admire very much a man that uh, coached down at Louisville now coaches well he doesn't coach anywhere talks before every Saturday Mr. With Lee a uh, headgear. Not so fast. Wow. The Tigers. I got my... Uh, I got some buddies. Clemson fans. Uh, I like what I see out of Trevor Lawrence. Um, I got I got the Tigers narrowly. I got the Tigers. I we'll this, give it a solid... Field goal. Field goal. I'm giving it a 34-31 game. Uh, Clemson wins. Last second. I have it 31-28. Miami gets it done. They on the road this week. Uh, on the road. They are on the road, are they? Uh, are they uh, yeah, I want to say they're on the road in Death Valley this week, which makes me question my pick a little bit more. But correct us if we're wrong. Correct us if we're wrong. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they're on the road. Um, and now for our next game, the Hokies and Tar Heels. All right, what you got for the picks? Oh man, well. Like, again, I mean, I don't know what to think out of the Tar Heels right now. But, eh, 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 I, I don't really know. I don't really know. I really don't. They're a very interesting team. They, Sam Howell's got me just confused. Twist, twisting like an old beach roller coaster. Exactly. Like, I'm... When it comes to Carolina, I'm at a loss of words. Like, I really don't know what to think. One week, I'm like, wow, Carolina's got a shot this year. And the next week, I'm like, they're ranked? Like, I'm Hokies by 14. I mean, I think easily 14. Um, it is in Chapel Hill. Gives a little bit of an advantage to the Tar Heels. Except All sorry, Tar Heels. Yeah, oops. Slip of the tongue there. Happens. What are you going to do? Uh, but, yeah, I have the Hokies big. Not big, big, but a couple touchdowns. A pair of touchdowns? Yeah. Well. Maybe 14, 17. As well, I have the Hokies of Tech. You know, I have them beating uh, Tar Heels. I think it's going to be a relatively close game through three. Then I think uh, just Tech's going to open up the game. Uh, there, I like how they finish out. Uh, I think that Tech's going to win by, I'm going to say, give or take 10 over or under. Uh, just liking what I'm seeing out of Tech. Look very strong right now. And that's not been able to be said, been said since, uh, well, give or take four years. So we'll see what happens. All right. Our next game, we've got the Cardinals and the Jackets. Friday night game, ESPN, Bobby Dodd Stadium, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going with the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, a little biased, but I think with the bye week they had, I think they will get the job done this week at home under the lights in Bobby Dodd. Nothing better than that. Um, I think Jeff Collins works uh, on the defense with Andrew Thacker, and I think they force a couple turnovers to help them 
win this game in a close one against the Cards in Scott Snyder Field. Moment. Well, you know, I've been made some questionable picks in my career. But not today. <laughs> today I'm going to be saying and go with the Cards. Just kidding. No, I'm not. The Cards bounce back this Ooh. week. Right here. Uh, excuse my drawings. Uh, just uh, thought I'd provide you with a couple L's. Like uh, Louisville will do Georgia Tech this weekend. Ooh. Um, I just I just like Louisville. Uh, I was high on them at the beginning of the year. Had a couple setbacks. Cunningham hasn't exactly performed the way that we thought he would. Um, but I uh, think he bounces back this week and uh, does good against the Yellow Jackets down in the Atlanta. And our next game. I don't like that pick. Um, next game, I got the Wolf Puppies. And the Wahoos. Um, this one is in Charlottesville. Um, on the road again for the Wolf Puppies. I think they go back-to-back -back road wins. I got the Wolf Pack um, over the Wahoos. Uh, I like I like what State did this past week against Pitt. Um, I, I think I think State they can keep this momentum rolling. They've got a shot at doing something big here in the ACC, but. If they lose to Virginia here, I think you can basically kiss it goodbye for the Wolf Pack. Wow, that's some interesting drawings over there. You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And we're gonna do what we've gotta do. <laughs> it's way better than I would've done. So I just wrote NC State. I'm not artistically gifted. I ain't either, but I uh, just figured uh, I'd do a little something, something, you know. But uh, <laughs> For the fans, for the fans. For the, I do it for the fans. Do it for you guys. Thank you for your support. Uh, I got the Wolf Pack. I, uh, I just uh, like what I'm seeing out of them. Uh, it's all, Virginia did put up a great, uh, great game against Clemson, but I got the Wolf Pack uh, narrowly by seven. I'll give it a uh, quick 28 to 21 game. Um, Wolfpack gets it done in Charlottesville this really? weekend. Yes. Now, all right, our next, next game. game: the Blue Devils and the Orange. Bad versus worse here. Amen. Um, I got Chase Bryce and the Blue Devils. I am not a fan of Tommy DeVito and the Orange right now. I've got Duke uh, big here. I feel like. David Cutcliffe in this Duke Blue Devils program. Tired of getting stepped on. They had a close week one game against the Fighting Irish. Weren't able to pull it out. But after the embarrassing loss to Boston College and then another close one to Virginia Tech, I think they roll Syracuse in the dome this week. So um I think I think it's I think it's a turnaround game for the Blue Devils. Do you really? I do. I do. Close enough. Close <laughs> enough, right? Oh, folks, I can't wait for y'all to see this. So it's a really great drawing. Uh, you spend way too much time on this. It's pretty great. <laughs> it's pretty great, ass, isn't it? <laughs> it's literally just the NC State logo without an N and a C. An orange. How, how's that one right there? See? Yeah, went and wrote in Eric Hughes. Wow. So, what do I think? So you went with the Blue Devils of Duke. Hey. I, uh, you know, Syracuse is coming off a win. They are indeed coming off a win. Against who? Against Georgia who? Tech. That's not saying much here, folks. <laughs> Hey, but uh, Duke not at the not one yet. I don't like what I've seen from Chase Bryce. It's been pretty bad, actually, to be honest with you. So uh, I got Tommy DeVito, bounce Syracuse, clutches out another one. Uh, get two wins on the season. It looks not so put themselves in a decent position to not suck. Um, I think Duke's struggles continue. But uh, what's new? It's Duke. Duke uh, needs to struggle a little bit here and there. Uh, the next game game we got here is the 
Notre Dame fighting Irish in the Florida State Seminoles. Ant and Boot here again. I mean, fighting Irish big, big here. Uh, I feel like the struggle will still continue for Florida State and Mike Norvell. Um, thoughts and prayers out to his family uh, with him and COVID. Uh, but I think it's still a struggle. The struggle still continues for them. Um, but you're not going to beat Notre Dame. I'm sorry. I don't care how high up you are. Uh, you just don't have it this year, Florida State. My bad. Amen. I'm going to go with that also. Uh, got the Fighting Irish winning big. Um, so, uh, like what I'm going to see, I think it's going to be good. Uh, we will see how Ian Book bounces back after a pretty subpar performances. Actually, I'm just kidding. Ian Book has been pretty good the whole year. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, so yeah, very interested to see what happens with Notre Dame. Can I put them ahead? All right, and the next game. We've is got this our final game? Yeah, this is our final game, I think. Yeah, final game. Um... We've got Pitt and Boston College. Um, whew, it's a, it's a toss up. How will Pitt respond to the loss at home in Chestnut Hill? Boom! The Eagles fly high this week and give the Panthers two straight losses. I mean, I like what I'm seeing out of the Eagles. I think they have surprised a lot of people. That gum at the magnet fell again. Um, but I think I just like what I'm seeing out of them, and I I just don't know how Pitt's gonna respond here. Fly Eagles, fly! Just kidding. I have Kenny Pickett in uh, the Pitts Panthers. I like Pitt, I like uh, like what they have going on now. Seem to have a visitor. Just kidding. I don't know who that was. Some random kids banging on the door. What can you do? It's America. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I got Pitt. Good bounce back week. Uh, perfect bounce back game against BC. BC, good team. But uh, like Phil Dracovic. But I think uh, Panthers get it done in Chestnut Hill. So uh, I want to thank y'all for your support last last week. It meant a lot. Uh, uh, got over a hundred views. Uh, yeah, thank you for your support. And yes. our last our last thing to honor. Last week, our TriMed Express Player of the Week. Yes. Who you got here? TriMed Express Player. I gotta go, Devin Leary. Devin. Really? No bias at all. But uh, Devin Leary. Not a Mezzi. No, uh, I I just can't put a Mezzi. I love a Mezzi, but uh, you know, just the way that Devin performed in the uh, clutch time. Yep. I I would agree. I mean, I like a Mezzi. I like what he did. Um, but I, yeah, Devin Leary, uh, his first start this year, I, what can you, what can you do? 336 I mean, yards, four touchdowns, uh, he played amazing. Yeah, yeah, 336 yards, four touchdowns, uh, QBR of 90.3. Higher than almost any of his games last year. Yep. Um, and, uh, just the, uh. And he had to pick up for that running game State did not have. They had 30 carries for 62 yards. You do the math. Not very good. But what are you going to do against the best rushing defense in the country? Exactly. And they made up for it with the passing. Um, fuck again. Devin Leary, great job. Shout out to him. Good job. So, uh, we uh, thank you for your support today. Uh, as we always say, you want to say it? You got it. Say less. God, God bless. bless. Have a great week, y'all. Hope it's great.